Hello everyone, it's Elle. Now welcome to what's probably my first vlog in ages. So this time it's another story time vlog and the story is how did I get into Shakespeare and I am filming this now because at the weekend our auditions for the Canterbury Shakespeare Festival's new season of shows which includes the Merry Wives of Windsor which I am very very excited to be directing and it's going to be my first it's actually going to be my directorial debut which is quite exciting if slightly nerve-wracking and as, as people who know me very well know I love Shakespeare and as you might have seen from when I've posted videos of myself performing monologues that this is something I really really love but how did I get into it? Now I think there was actually a few different things that kind of led me into being the Shakespeare fan I am now so I think I'll start at the beginning so when I was in year six drama club we were given copies of this children's version of the Twelfth Night and we got to perform scenes from it so at one point I was Olivia and then another time I was Malvolio but then when I was in this would have been when I was in year eight one of the English teachers announced that she wanted to do the Tempest to go to the Shakespeare Schools Festival and she was looking for a cast of what would have been year seven, eight, year seven and eight at the time. I was in year eight. But when we would do it, I was going to be in year nine and the young other lot were going to be year eight. And so I auditioned and I was very lucky to get the role of Trinculo, which was the part that I really, really wanted. But to get us, um, give us some inspiration, we went to see the Cambridge Shakespeare production of The Tempest, which was in Girton College Gardens, so, and it was actually quite tucked into the college itself, but oh my goodness, there was an amazing show though. <laughs> what was quite fun, when I look back on it, one of the things I remember is just like how crazy me, the other girls in the cast, and then even our teacher, Miss Smith, kind of went over the guy played for Erdogan, because we all thought he was a very, very attractive man and we were just <laughs> enamoured and the aerial in that I seem to recall was really really good so I think so from doing seeing that show and then doing the Tempest I think is what really kind of sp sparked it because from after that I went to see more shows at the Cambridge Shakespeare Festival and from there I'm, I'm really lucky to have seen so many incredible productions for example, I was very, very, tremendously lucky to go and see Tom Hiddleston in Hamlet at, Ra at Rada, and, which was absolutely incredible, and he was very close to me. But one of the girls in it, Ellie de Rowan, her dad, Charlie, or Charles as I think his official name is, was at u the same university as my mum, so it was kind of quite amazing to go there and to have that connection. And then I've been to Stratford-upon-Avon and went to see the two noble kinsmen and one of the actors came up to me in character, <laughs> which is something I won't ever forget. And then last year I got to be in a production of The Tempest at the Canterbury Shakespeare Festival, which as you've all probably seen from videos that I made during that time, so when I vlogged of rehearsals and then made a little montage video of stuff I filmed over the three nights that we did it. So I'll put some links to those if you'd like to go and check it out. And from that, that was how I met my, well kind of really kind of sort of got to know my lovely friends Tom and Tasha. So Tom was the director and Tasha was the production manager and they were honestly fab and I'm always going to be really grateful to Tom for giving me my or for giving me that opportunity so Tom, Tash, if you're if this video reaches you, hi! Love you both, miss you. But also the founder of the festival, Ben Chamberlain, we went to the same secondary school, but he was in year eleven when I was in year seven, so we were only at the same secondary school very, very briefly. But when back in November 2017 people who had been involved before were telling me about it and they said oh Ben's from Cambridge 
I knew that it sparked a memory and I knew I recognised the name. So just e just typed an email to Ben and then found that I was right that, and that we were at the same secondary school, <laughs> which we both love and we both think it's a really wonderful and happy coincidence. So yeah, I think it's just from all that it's led to me really loving Shakespeare and I've loved it ever since. And now I'm really grateful to have been given the opportunity to direct one of my favourite Shakespeare plays, which is The Merry Wives of Windsor. So for those of you who don't know what it's about, it's a comedy. And the famous character John Falstaff has come to Windsor because he's down his luck and he's broke. So to try and rebuild his fortunes, he sends identical seductive love letters to two wealthy women, Mistress Ford and Mistress Page. But they figure out what he's up to and so concoct a load of cunning plans to get revenge on him. And there's another plot where Master Ford decides to test his wife's fidelity by posing as a man called Brooke and getting Falstaff to woo her on his behalf. And a lot of funny things come out from that. And also and there's, guess what, another subplot where Anne Page the daughter of Master and Mistress Page wants to marry Fenton, who's also a rich boy down as luck, but her parents don't want him to don't want her to marry him. So her mum wants her to marry Dr. K Dr. Keyes, who's a crazy French doctor, and her dad wants to her to marry Slender, a rich young man who is basically a buffoon. But all ends happily, so Falstaff is taught a lesson and there's a lot of hilariality, lots of colour and it will just be an amazing show so I've decided to set it in kind of modern day but also trying to pay homage to Shakespeare's world as much as possible through co costume and also through directing ideas as well. So the auditions are going to be this weekend, so Saturday and Sunday, at the Pilgrim's Hotel in Canterbury. It's from from 12 till 4 and people can drop in we'll, be, we'll give them monologues that which they can go away and learn and then come back to and it's just a fantastic thing to do over the summer you meet some really lovely people and you get you get to, you get to keep some really wonderful memories and it's just an amazing chance to do a great piece of community theatre which brings a lot of joy to audiences and also brings something to something special to Canterbury and to what could be more perfect than a bit of Shakespeare so I'll put details of the auditions and the Canterbury Shakespeare Festival in the description box below as well so I think that concludes the vlog I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time with another one bye